In this video, I want to talk about systems of linear equations and the three basic types of solution sets they may have. So every system of linear equations may have one of these three solutions. The first one is one solution. Simple enough. So that means the system of linear equations will only have one solution set. The second type is infinite solutions. And we've run across this, these types of solutions in some previous videos. The third type is that they will have no solution. And for these three types of solutions, the first two are called consistent solutions. And that means that at minimum, the system of linear equations has at least one solution. So in the first type, uh, one solution, well, there's only one solution, so it's a consistent solution. In the second one, infinite, although there are an infinite number of solutions, it has at minimum at least one, right? Finally, the third type, no solution, this one right here is called inconsistent, inconsistent. And that means this has no solution at all. There are no solution or solution sets that satisfy a particular system of linear equations. So we'll look at a few different examples as well as graphing systems of linear equations to figure out what the solutions may be and what types of solutions they are. So for, for an example, let's, let's do our first example, example one. We have the system of linear equations x plus 2y is equal to negative 1 and x minus y is equal to 2. Now there's a few ways to solve this system of linear equations to figure out what the variables x and y are. One way is to take one of the equations, let's say this one, solve for one of the variables, let's say x, and plug that in for x on into the first equation and then solve for the unknown variable y. Once you have y, then you can plug the value of y into either one of these equations and solve for x. That's a good way to do it. Another way to do it is noticing that there's an x in both equations with the coefficient 1. So it's just 1x plus 2y is equal to negative 1 and 1x minus y is equal to 2. Well, if there was a way to get rid of that x, then we would only be left with the variable y. So one way to solve this system of linear equations is to subtract one equation from another. So I'm going to write this onto the or I'm going to write this on the right hand side. x plus 2y is equal to negative 1. And if I subtracted that second equation, x minus y is equal to 2. If I subtracted this, well, x minus x is just 0, right? And then 2y minus negative y is 2y plus y. So this would be 3y. And negative 1 minus 2 would be negative 3. And so we're left with one equation with only one variable y. So if we solved for y, if I, if I divided this equation by 3 on both sides, I would get y is equal to negative 1. So if I take y is equal to negative 1 and I plug it into either one of these two equations, I should get a value for x. So let's just choose the second equation, x minus y is equal to 2. Well y is negative 1 and that's equal to 2 so x plus 1 is equal to 2 and if I subtract 1 from both sides I get x is equal to 1 so the solution for this system of linear equations is x equals 1 and y equals negative 1 now we can also do this graphically and I'm going to pull up a software here where we can actually type in the two equations look at the graph and figure out what solution it might give us so for the first equation we had x plus 2y 
and that's equal to negative 1, right? And in our second equation, we had x minus y is equal to 2, right? So if I hit graph, we're going to notice something interesting. We're going to see that x plus 2y equals negative 1, which is the blue line here and x minus y equals 2, which is the green line here, all intersect at this one point. So that means whatever point this is, whatever coordinate this is, it will satisfy both of these equations, the blue one and the green one. So graphically, we can see that the x coordinate here is 1, and the y coordinate here, well, that's negative 1, right? And that is pretty consistent with this and this, right? Our solution was x equals 1, y equals negative 1. Since this solution only has one pair of coordinates that will satisfy both equations or both lines, we say that this is a consistent solution and it has one solution. So let's take a look at another example and I'll do this one in green call it example two. What if we had this pair or this system of linear equations x plus y is equal to two and x plus y is equal to negative one? Well immediately you can see that the left hand side for both of these equations are the same. So how can they possibly equal two different values on the right hand side? So this is not right, right? There's no solution to this. You could not find an x and y value or values for x and y and plug it into both of these equations to get 2 for one equation and negative 1 for the other. In other words, both of these equations could not equal 2 and negative 1 simultaneously. So what we can do here for this example is we can actually graph it and see what this is going to look like. So if I remove both of these equations and plug in our new equation, so x plus y is equal to 2, and add a second equation, x plus y is equal to negative 1, and we graphed it. Well, this is interesting, right? So the blue line, which is x plus y is equal to 2, is this straight line up here and x plus y equals negative 1 is this green line right here. And notice that as much as I zoom out of this graph and extend the x and y axes, you notice that these two lines never cross. In other words, these two lines are parallel. So there is no intersection between these lines and therefore this system of linear equations does not have a solution. And what did we say up here? No solution means it's inconsistent, right? So let's take a look at a third example, our final example for this video. Example three, what if we had this system of linear equations, x minus y is equal to one, and two x minus two y is equal to two? Well, I'm gonna tell you that this has infinite solutions. And that's because the second equation is just twice the first equation. So if I took the second equation and I factor it out the two, I would get x minus y is equal to two times one, right? Twos cancel out on both sides and we're left with x minus y is equal to one, which is the same as the first equation in this system of linear equations. So this is going to have infinite solutions because we could choose any value for y or x and get a corresponding value for the other variable. And so what do we do with equations that have two variables? Well, we can represent the solution parametrically, right? There's an infinite number of solutions, so we can just represent the solution parametrically. So if I took the first equation, x minus y equals to one, and I solved for one of the variables, let's say x, I would get x is equal to one plus y, right? And all I did was add y to both sides. So if I chose a parameter t to represent the free variable in this equation, this, in this case y, 
I could let y equal t, and that means this equation here would be x is equal to 1 plus t. And this would be the parametric representation of the solution to this system of linear equations. Furthermore, we could actually take this parametric representation and plug it into this second equation, 2x minus 2y equals 2, and check to see if this is true. So I'm going to scroll down here a bit. And what I mean by that is, I'll do this in a different color, let's say green. This equation right here, I'm going to plug in the values that we got here and here and see if this equation is true. So 2 times x, well x is 1 plus t, right? 1 plus t minus 2 times y, which is t right here, is equal to 2. Well, if I distribute this 2 to all the terms in this parentheses, I'll get 2 plus 2t minus 2t is equal to 2. And we can see that the 2t and the 2t here cancel, so we're left with 2 equals 2. Well, that's true, right? 2 does, in fact, equal 2. So finally, if we wanted to graph these two equations, we could do so. So let me go back to the software, remove that one, delete this one, and type in our new equation. So the first one was x minus y is equal to 1, right? And our second one was 2x minus 2y is equal to 2. So if we hit graph, we're going to notice something very interesting. We don't actually see a second line, do we? It's just one line. Well, there are actually two lines here. The blue line intersects the green line at all points along this line. Why? Because the slope of both of these equations are exactly the same. The green equation is just the blue equation multiplied by a factor of 2. So this system, whatever, whatever coordinate we chose, or we choose, will satisfy both of these equations. So whichever coordinate we choose along these two lines will automatically be a solution to this system of linear equations.